good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss the last topic of this chapter as well as of this course edge cover so we have already discussed vertex cover where we need to cover the we need to cover all the edges using a vertex set now using the subset of the edges we need to cover all the vertices so edge cover of a graph is subset of edges so we have discussed matching number and now we are discussing the edge covering number both are related to the edges such that for any vertex there exists an edge such that v is an end point of e okay so we need to find the subset of the edges such that all the vertices must be incidenting to one of at least one of these edges let's see some examples so these for these two graphs the red edge shows an edge cover because you can see that all the vertices are incidenting to these four edges in this case and four edges in this case the next question is do you think that the following edge cover is minimum please do try by yourself and then you will observe that in the first graph there is no other possibility because these three vertices have degree 1 so to cover them we need three edges and then for this triangle one edge is already covered so we need one more edge but in the other graph there is a possibility and this is how we can cover all the vertices using only three edges so now the edge covering number which is denoted as beta dash g please do remember the notations is the minimum cardinality of edge cover so for these graphs you can see that for the first one beta dash g is equal to 4 and for this one beta dash g is equal to 3 just important note which says that beta dash g is undefined if g has isolated vertex because those vertices can never be covered by edges now quickly try to compute the edge covering number of cyclic graph of complete graph and complete bipartite graph so we start with the cyclic graph if you see c4 then you can see that only two edges are sufficient to cover the four vertices but if you see c5 and you pick two edges then it has maximum four end points and therefore all the vertices cannot be covered so instead of two you require three the same logic works for complete graph if i make the graph complete then you can observe that using the same logic if n is even it's simply n by 2 but if n is odd then it is n by 2 plus 1 and in case of the complete bipartite graph if you see k 2,3 then you need one then two and then three edges two edges would not work because if you take the minimum of m, n then only two edges are there which cannot cover the three vertices on the other side they can cover only two vertices so for c in its n by 2 and n is even n by 2 plus 1 n is odd same applies for k n and for k m comma n it is maximum of m comma n what is the edge covering number beta dash g for peterson graph please do quickly try by yourself and then you will observe that it comes out to be 5 even you can observe that it is equivalent to matching number in this case and even this matching is perfect now the next question is that what is the relation between the edge covering number and matching number before you make a conclusion you can see one more example here you can see that the edge covering number is 4 but matching number is 2 so from these two examples we can say that 
the sum of the edge covering number and matching number is equal to n. So alpha dash g plus beta dash g is equal to n. Okay. Now we will quickly see its proof. So to prove it on one side we will start with a matching and from the matching we will form an edge cover. On the other side we will start with an edge cover and we will form a matching. Yes. So let us start with the matching. So let m be the matching of maximum side which means alpha dash g. So now this matching m has m edges and or let us say it has alpha dash g edges or m edges m edges. So of course it has covered two m vertices. So to form an edge cover the worst case is we need to cover n minus 2 m vertices which are not covered by the matching this is the worst case so it means that so for each of the v minus 2 m vertices say v missed by m add them to m to have an edge cover so if we add let us say 5 vertices are not covered so if we add 5 edges because all these edges have an end point to these 5 missed vertices so this is the worst case so if we add 5 then for sure it forms an edge cover so that is why the edge cover it has covered 2 m vertices and these are the remaining vertices so these edges plus these number of the edges gives you an edge cover yes but what we are looking for is the minimum edge cover so minimum edge cover for sure would have the size less than mode v minus mode m which is beta dash g so beta dash g it's a minimum edge cover it should be less than this replacing m by alpha dash g this relation gives me alpha dash plus beta dash is less than equal to n it means to proceed further we need to show that alpha dash plus beta dash is greater than equal to n and to show it now will we will start with an edge cover and from the edge cover we will form a matching so let us assume that rho star be the edge cover of size beta dash g which means it is a minimum edge cover now the first observation is that edges in rho star do not contain a path of length greater than 2 why is it so please do think over it because if there is a path of length 3 then if you choose this edge and this edge it already covered all the four vertices it means the middle edge is not required since we are looking for the minimum edge cover if you consider the middle edge then for sure it is not a minimum edge cover because you can find an edge cover without considering the middle edge it means that so this is the uh, distribution so now the connected components of rho star are all star graphs they cannot be path graph length greater than 2 star graph means something like this so you can see here this is one connected component which is simply an edge and this is the other connected component which is a star graph. Now the idea is that from each of these component since they are the component they are independent of each other we can pick an edge from it and that gives a matching. We are not claiming the maximum matching but for sure it gives you a matching. So let us say that the number of the components in rho star are c for example here it is 2 and we denote it as c1 c2 cc now the interesting observation is that the number of the vertices involved in these components because it is a vertex it is an edge cover so edge cover is covering all the vertices and therefore since it is covering all the vertices so some of these order of c1 c2 and cc gives you the order of the graph but at the same time if you consider the edges then these edges gives you the minimum edge cover 
other than that since all these components are simply forming a tree and therefore we know that for the tree m is equal to n minus 1 it has n minus 1 edges now you substitute each eci here replace it by vci minus 1 and if you subtract it one equation to the other then you can easily observe that you will get the number of components is equal to n minus the minimum match cover and we require this number of the components because these number of the components gives us the size of the matching which we are going to form by picking by picking an edge from each of the component also observe that when we are looking for an yeah so this is how we proceed so choose from each component one edge to obtain a matching m now we have already seen that the number of the components here c is n minus beta dash so the number of the components which means that the maximum matching alpha dash g should be greater than n minus beta dash g that gives you alpha dash plus beta dash g is greater than equal to n so on one side we proved alpha dash plus beta dash is less than equal to n on this side we have proved alpha dash plus beta dash is greater than equal to n from these two equations we can conclude that alpha dash plus beta dash is equal to n so very interesting proof is there where on one side we start with a matching and obtain an edge cover on the other side we started with an edge cover and form a matching and since we are looking for a maximum matching so the matching we form so the size of the maximum matching should be greater than the size of the matching we form and to compute the size of this matching we compute the number of the components an edge cover has Okay, a quick observation which says that a matching is perfect if and only if it is an edge cover in which case it is minimum edge cover. So perfect means that all the vertices are covered and when all the vertices are covered it means that of course it's a edge cover <coughs> and using the relational alpha dash plus beta dash is equal to n it forms a minimum edge cover. So Peterson graph is the well known example where you can see that this matching is a perfect matching and of course it forms a minimum edge curve. Can you think of an infinite class of graph for which independence number is equal to the minimum edge covering number is equal to edge covering number. There could be many possibilities. So you can think of the cycle graph, think over it, I am just giving the hint that do you consider n is even or odd, but one more interesting is the bipartite, complete bipartite graph. So for the complete bipartite graph, the independence number, so here the independence number, these four vertices are independent to each other. And we know that for complete bipartite graph, it is maximum of m, n which is beta dash g. So 4 is equal to 4. If G has no isolated vertices and is bipartite, then prove that alpha G is equal to beta dash G. So, most important thing is it is given that it is bipartite. We are not proving the result for any graph. Yes, proof is quite easy because you have to recall that alpha plus beta is equal to n alpha dash plus beta dash is equal to n but at the same time we prove that alpha dash is equal to beta for bipartite graphs yes so we start with alpha which is n minus beta now this beta is equal to alpha dash so n minus alpha dash and n minus alpha dash is equal to beta dash So that's all from this course and from this class. Thank you very much for watching the videos.